best inventory software management for small business full guide hi there you guys i'll be talking about what i think is the best um inventory management software right here it's called order hive and i found a few articles that claim that it is one of the best inventory software out there now why is it the best for starters knowing what's in stock is key to building a successful business right so that's why you need an inventory software like this now order hive with advanced features and plenty of integration it is an affordable solution that can easily become your all-in-one inventory uh yeah your all-in-one inventory order and fulfillment partner right so now let's have a let's talk about a quick uh pros and cons of your uh, i mean of order hive oh some of the pros are it's free for shopify users it has a 15 day free trial and no credit card needed it has real-time multi-channel inventory updates now some of the cons here are no sku generator 99 dollars setup fee and mobile app currently only available on google play so order hype provides plans to meet the needs of companies in most industries from large enterprises to startups it stands out by offering a limited stock keeping units skus and hundreds of integrations in its feature rich plans making order hive the clear winner for best overall inventory soft or inventory management software they have a wide range of features that includes kitting bundling and comp Composite support, automated purchase order or PO creation, bulk add, update, or delete products. Now let's go ahead and try to bulk add, update, or delete products. So if you want to do that, just go to products right over here. And then you can see here the list of your products. So what you want to do is just pick on the products that you want to, you know, bulk add, update, or to delete products. It's easy. Just tick them on and you can see here options. You have map. You can archive your products. You can export them. You can add tags. You can delete the product. You can product label. You can create a PO for all of these products. You can create transfer, you can bulk update, and you can move them all at once. So it works really easy. Just tick all of the products that you want to uh, work with. All right. So we also have here shipments. You can track your shipments. You can see here pending shipments to handover shipments, in transit shipments, and completed shipments. So you can check out manifests, export, and presets right here uh, you can easily transfer stock between warehouses this one again can be accessed here under products you can just tick one product off and then hit on more and then create transfer you can select to which warehouse are you going to transfer it from and the destination warehouse so the transfer date would be over here as well so you can set them up yourself all of these are very easy to use you guys now, overdrive order hive offers hundreds of integrations with popular apps like etsy amazon quickbooks woocommerce and fedex now i've already integrated my ebay right here so if you want to integrate your shop just go to integrate button right over here it's on the bottom of the sidebar and as you can see i have integrated my ebay account so if you want to add in another shop you can do so by clicking add integration and choose from the wide array of shops that are available here now let's try integrating my etsy now let's hit on next okay i think i forgot my etsy store name but yeah, basically that's how it works. Input the store name right here, the Etsy shop name, and the integration error email notification, and then just hit on done, and then just allow Order Hive to access your store, and then you're basically done. And once you're done integrating, you can see here already a list of your integrated shops. Now let's click on eBay right here. I've integrated eBay beforehand. And I can just edit all information right here. If I want to, I can toggle what I want to do with it. I can uh, toggle this one on and off. Push stock quantities, push order status app updates, push price updates, automatically archive product in SIN7 order hive when deleted in store, automap duplicate SKUs, and toggle on default warehouse or not. Now let's check out uh, some new features right here that they've added. They've added a new feature called Bill of Materials. 
So this one, it's a new feature to help the manufacturers to quickly create a bill of materials or BOM with lists of all the materials used for making the products. You can add a BOM by clicking this button right here. They also have a new feature. It's called, this one is a new one. It's called, yeah, for a while. Work order. It's a new feature to help the manufacturers in improving the production process by facilitating them to easily create advanced work orders and implement a bill of materials. So some um, um, softwares out there, they don't have work order in BOM. I only saw it here in Order Hive, but I'm not sure if maybe it's called differently in some platforms because, you know, maybe they're trying to avoid copyright and stuff like that. But um, I like how they added this two new features right here can also check out transfers right here can create a new transfer by clicking this button right over here and you can do this by hitting your products right here and then just ticking whatever a product you want to transfer but if you want to have a you know this one if you want to have an overview of your transfers you can check this tab out right over here you can also check your customer lists from this tab. So your customer lists includes their names, their email, of course, contact number, preferred task, preferred discount, pricing tier, and the company they work for. You can also put them here. And of course, you can check out your suppliers. Uh, they have the company name, name, email, CC email, contact location, and store address. Now what you can do with them is you can click one of your suppliers and then you can edit or you can just delete them you can import you can export and stuff like that and of course the integrate button this is where you integrate your stores your shops and for the automate tab let's check this out now automation software automate every aspect of your business to save time costs and repetitive manual intervention so automation works within a module as well as intermodal so if you want to add in a new automation just click this and then input the name the description and select a trigger this is basically like uh automation software you can do this within the app so you should uh, try to create a trigger and then or you know I, it can either be one of these and then select what it does when that trigger happens so this is a quick rundown of order hive you guys what do you think about the platform let me know down in the comments below and i will see you again in the next video peace out